She thinks she could get away with slapping me? Hell no! Hell no! Rip her tits off! What did I even do to her? Are you really trying to make me angry, Kasumi? I could run you off this campus if I wanted to and you know it. <laughs> no, you can't, you stupid slut! Konnichiwa minasan and welcome back to WTF Japan on Super Panic Frenzy. I'm Marina Scully and today I will be playing High School Possession, which I'm sure is as bad as it sounds. <coughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay. I hate being so late. Oh my god, it's on auto. It's like my eyes are super glued together, but my brain is already in overdrive. Another typical day. Okay, I see the same faces, the same couple. Blah, 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 blah. Not to mention a pain when you get a. Oh, he said that he's lonely, aren't we all? But usually I can't help but stare and feel a little jealous, of course. Okay, so, right, I got it. You want a girlfriend. Oh my god, you're already in school. What is happening? Oh, person. Per Wait a second, this doesn't make any sense at all. She's eating curry, but with chopsticks. You don't eat curry with chopsticks in Japan. You eat it with a spoon. When I first started talking to Akiko, I thought I probably looked like a dog. Someone had dangled a treat in front of. Tongue out, eyes big, drool, generous, and flowing. Good afternoon, Hikaru. Oh, my name is Hikaru. That's cute. That means child of light. Hi, Akiko. How are you? Great. Oh, I'm so broken inside. It says I'm still prepping. I thought it said I'm still pregnant. <laughs> oh, I'm still prepping for exams. Oh, another girl. Since my other school idol is also on the swim team. Oh, I like two girls. I bet I like a lot of girls. Kasumi, oh, Kasumi. In a surprising turn of events, she isn't actually why I joined the swim team. Not that I wouldn't have been compelled, but this is actually how we met. Cute! You're both into the same thing! <sighs> Hello, Hikaru. Are you coming in or are you just sitting out today? I'm coming in ju just a second. I'll take the lane next to you. But shouldn't you change out first? Oh, uh, all right. Ha, uh, sorry. I'll be right back. Question mark? Okay. Oh, uh, usually I don't get flustered around her, but after watching her swim... Oh! All right, that's enough for today, everyone. Grab a towel and dry yourself off. Five minutes to change. What? That's it? That's over? It's over? I swam already? That was a nice session. You swam really well today. Thank you. Ha, huh, you always say that. It's always true. Oh my god, dude. She wants your cock. Like, she wants it. This is great. Hikaru! <laughs> Finally, I'm just going to collapse. I can't think about anything with this headache drilling into my temple. It feels like someone's trying to saw my skull. Saw into my skull. Uh Morning. Morning? Ugh, why do I feel so weird? How long was I out? Oh, right. I had that headache yesterday. Did I sleep through the whole afternoon? It must still be... I must still be affecting me. Even my balance is off. I must have slept funny yesterday or something, but at least the headache is gone. I might even be able to make it to school. Ow! If I can make it into my bathroom without giving myself a concussion... Where's the light switch? Why does everything feel so, like it's out of place? What's happening? Oh! What's happening? What? What is this? What? Oh, the headache I had. Of course. That explains everything. I didn't sleep through the whole afternoon. I'm dreaming. It must be a lucid dream then. I've never had one, but I've heard it looks and feels real. Okay. Touch yourself. Check it out. Oh. Oh, yeah. Wow, that felt so intense. For a few seconds, I couldn't even see. Everything went white. My thighs are even shaking from it. It was like a genuine orgasm from Akiko's body. Is it possible my brain just invented what that would feel like? How would it know something like that? I guess things do usually make what just makes sense in dreams even when they wouldn't otherwise. My toes and the bottom of my feet even went numb. Not to mention my fingers are drenched. What? What? She had her alarm set pretty early, but I wasted a lot of time in there. I guess I should go along <laughs> with the dream and see what happens. I guess I don't really have a choice but to go through her underwear. I guess you don't have a choice. You gotta. I think I know Akiko's basic class schedule. I'll follow it as much as I know, just in case. You stalker. Kasumi, what's happening? Why is she hugging me? Because <gasps> they're friends. Akiko, what's the matter? Did I hurt you somehow? 
I didn't think I hugged you that hard. Sorry, it wasn't anything. It obviously was something. Pull back your sleeve and let me see. Akiko, look at this cut. How did you get this? Come on, we should go ahead and get a bandage for you. Let's head to the nurse's office. Here, the nurse gave me these bandages to put on. Uh, they should cover the cut. It's better to go home and make a decent recovery than to exhaust yourself. I think the nurse is right. You should go home. That's awesome. Go home. Uh, let's... Wait. No. Maybe? What should I do? I'll agree to go home. It'll be safer that way. Uh, it took me almost an hour to find her house again. This is so confusing. Why is this happening? It's starting to feel like a dream. Oh, her phone was in her backpack. Maybe it's Kasumi checking in to see how she is. Arata, who's that? Arata, are you busy? I don't recognize the name. That's a boy's name. That's a sexy boy's name. <laughs> sexy. I should probably text back with yes. But if this is real, then I don't want to ruin Akiko's social life. I should try to do something that Akiko would actually do. And it looks like she texts him a lot. No, not busy. I guess I'll have to wait and see. <gasps> Who is he? Did he just let himself in? Okay, don't panic. Oh, Arata! What is this? What is this? That sounds casual enough. Hey. What, why do you look so weirded out? Uh, weirded out? I'm not sure what you mean. All right, whatever. Shall we go downstairs? Uh, okay. You're being quiet. No, I'm just here. Oh, thank God! Okay, where is he putting my hand? Why is he making me rub him there? Well, go on. You know what to do. What? This absolutely can't be happening. I was worrying about what would happen. Okay, this is a hundred times worse than kissing him. If he hadn't been holding my wrist so tight, I would have pulled away on instinct. What do I do? Akiko? Seriously, what's the matter with you? Rub my cock. I thought you'd like this. You know, I was planning for more, but since you seem so out of it, I guess just this'll do. <laughs> Hope you're feeling good. Well, uh, yeah, all right. Well, since you're being a little weird, I'm going to head off. Okay, thanks. He's just going to leave like that? Oh! I could go as a whore. I shouldn't say that. Now he's gone? <laughs> What's happening? I mean, I'm glad, but I'm also pissed. What kind of jerk just shows up to, ugh, what do I know? Akiko could have had any kind of relationship with that guy. I just didn't expect her to end up with someone like that. I want to understand what the hell just happened. Me too. Maybe if I just fall asleep, everything will be right again in the morning. This is hard to read. Hmm, what? Oh no, I'm back to being Hikaru again. Oh, thank goodness. Mom must be trying to wake me up since I slept past my alarm. What a weird dream. You better wake up, sis. Sis? Light, where's the light? Oh, where the hell is this? It's gotta be Kasumi. This isn't Akiko's bedroom or my bedroom. Okay, there's a mirror in here. <gasps> oh my god! Wait, can we take a look at this weird creature that has carrots for horns? Also, let's look at the way she's sitting. This is what Katsumi dresses in to sleep? It's cute. Take it off. <laughs> what am I saying? I didn't expect any of this. But still, I thought Akiko was hard to deal with, but looking at Kasumi like this, too. If this is real, there's no way I can go about my day feeling like this. Is this going to happen every time I wake up now? Why is Kasumi so pretty? Oh, to hell with it. I have to take care of this feeling or I'm going, or I'm going to go insane. Ha. Ah, oh, wow. I've never felt anything like that. I couldn't even see properly. When did I end up on the floor? Oh, no! I don't want to read this part! Kasumi's thighs are even slick. Oh, that was enough to give me another shudder. I need to get myself cleaned up. Well, maybe just one more before I leave. Oh my god, you beast. I'm surprised I had enough strength left to even get dressed. Okay, I've got to get out of here, though. I can't afford to think about that anymore. Okay, it's a bright out. I'm beyond late for school. I'll worry about that once I'm going home. I'm so late to school. Let's go to school. Okay, cool. Oh! Oh! Maybe I'll get a chance to see Akiko and see if anything is odd. Good deal, man. Ow, what the hell? What's happening? Rika? What's this, hmm? Did you bring me a present? What? What's happening right now? What is she talking about? Did she just take my lunch? Yo, fight the fuck back. Get that bitch. Give that back. It's my lunch. It's not a... Ah, that really hurt. She's still hurting you? 
She thinks she could get away with slapping me? Hell no! Hell no! Rip her tits off! What did I even do to her? Are you really trying to make me angry, Kasumi? I could run you off this campus if I wanted to and you know it. <laughs> no, you can't, you stupid slut! <laughs> and there would go all your precious grades and records right at the door. Wouldn't that be unfortunate? Don't make me be mean. Let me go, let go of me. What are you doing to her? Ha ha ha. If she doesn't let go of my uniform, she'll, whoops. <gasps> no! She tore my uniform. Oh my God. Let's break this twat, scruffy beggar. Anyway, thanks for the gift. I'll be sure to put it to good use. I'll see you around. Oh, by the way, Kasumi, nice bra. What? What the hell just happened? Why did Rika literally attack me? It was too familiar to be the first time event. No, this must be something that happened a lot. How did I not know? This is awful. I'm glad Kasumi has some casual clothes in her locker, but I can't stay here with this on. It violates the dress code. I don't want to make Kasumi miss class, though. Should I go home or stay in class? Ooh, ooh, go home. Okay, so whose body am I gonna end up in tomorrow? What does Rika even get out of it? I recognize that sound. Dude, I bet, oh, come on, Akiko again. I thought I'd be in Rika's body. I really thought everything might be normal again after I woke up, but now I'm right back where I started without a clue about what's happening. And you never even saw Akiko, so you don't know what's happening. Does Akiko even know that you guys switched? Are you even body switching at all? Like what happens to Hikaru's body? Who's controlling that? And doesn't anybody think it's odd? I don't even understand what's happening. I need more. Akiko left something in the floor. I nearly stepped on it. Oh right, it's her diary. I'd almost forgotten she had one of these. Maybe she wrote something that will be helpful. <laughs> With any luck, I can learn what she experienced. Okay, the most recent entry for, is from yesterday, and it looks like she wrote something for the day I inhabited her body. I made weekend plans with Arata, but only so I can avoid seeing him for the rest of the week. Maybe I'll feel better by then. I'm almost looking forward to it. If there's a chance, it will make my mood brighter. I just want a reason to smile again, especially after hearing about Hikaru. It makes me sad to think about it. Hearing about Hikaru? Wait, what? Hearing what? What did you hear about? Okay, 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 let's, let's focus back on you, okay? You're gonna have to skip school today and pay me a visit. Come on, mom, open up, you must be here. She looks so pale, oh my god, I'm dead. Hikaru is 100% dead. I heard about Hikaru and wondered if you could see him, uh, yes. What? Of course. We've been so worried about him. Okay, so he's not dead. It's nice that Hikaru has such friends that would visit him. The doctors say it may help to expose him to things that are familiar. Okay, so, so, so I'm not dead. Would you like me to give you the room number for the hospital? Hospital? Yes, please. She looks so torn up. I wish I could tell her I'm right here, that I'm okay at least in one sense. If I'm in the hospital, she must be worried sick. I'm always telling her she worries way too much and now. Okay, so I'm not dead. Well, what do you guys think happened to me? Let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe if you haven't already. And thank you so much for watching. This is weird. It's more serious than I thought. I